the chair. Come on, let him hear it. Yay! Billy Bingo, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing out here tonight? How we doing, McGuire's? Yeah. Here's your fucking noise! All right, all right. Billy's uh, a little off. This is actually not my first time on a stage, but honestly, I haven't been on a stage in about five years. Uh, a buddy of mine came up to me before the show and uh, offered me some advice. He said, you know, if you're a little nervous, he said, what you want to do is just picture the whole crowd naked before you go up. Sir, I'd like to see you after the show. And uh, bring your friend along with you, please. <laughs> so I'm just wondering, is anybody out here tonight, in fact, Osama Bin Laden? <laughs> you know? Just speaking on one because the government doesn't seem to know where the fuck he is either. You know, this guy's putting out more movies than Spielberg, but nobody seems to know where the fuck he is. You know? And we've got President Bush. God bless him. God love him. Now, I 100% support our military, but we've got this guy going up and going, well... We, we, we got some good people working on it, and uh, we're, we're going to smoke him out of his hole. We're, we're going to find him. We're, we're going to smoke him out of his hole. All right. Problem number one. Osama bin Laden is seven feet fucking tall. Can't we go into a crowd, stand on a phone book, look for the head that's standing on top? Look, there he is. Arrest him. Problem number one. Problem number two. Osama bin Laden is on kidney dialysis. Not a lot of people know that, but he is. So maybe we should stop looking in the caves for him and look in a place with fucking electricity. How's that for a start? And it's Afghanistan. There's only like three fucking places. Two of them are 7-Elevens, and one of them is Osama's discount house of bombs. So start there. Uh, Lord, anybody out here into music? Let's hear it for some music. All right, all right. I love rock music, love rock music. One thing I cannot stand, though, is fucking pop music. Anybody out here familiar with a Black Eyes Peas song called My Humps? Yeah? Yeah? All right. All right, here we go. The, the, the basic concept is we got this broad in, in a fucking video. All right, wearing the tight jeans, looking like somebody just smeared cheese was in her crotch and let a fucking mouse loose down her pants. All right, and she's going, My Humps! My Humps! My Humps! I swear to God, these are the fucking lyrics to the song. My Humps, My Humps, My Lovely Lady Lumps. Guys, next time you're out at the bar, this is what I want you to do. Go up to the lady you're admiring. You know, you've been checking her out all night. And just go up to her. Excuse me, ma'am. I have to tell you, you have the most lovely lady lumps I've ever seen. <laughs> and see what happens first. She's either going to throw a drink in your face, or like she did, just smile politely because it's really not nice to make fun of the retarded. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> I'm single again. I'm separated since April. I'm in the middle of, oh, possibly the world's ugliest divorce. A lot of fun. A lot of fucking fun. And I'll tell you, it's, uh, it's tough being single again. You know, you're out at the bars. You're trying to be smooth. You're going up to the ladies. Excuse me, can I buy you a drink? You know, and it's especially going hard on the guy like me, who the nicest compliment I've ever heard is, you look like Tom Cruise with Down Syndrome. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, you know? And it's especially hard because the time that I did spill that drink in the ladies' lap, it was a martini. And I had to go up to her and just apologize for profusely because it spilled all over her skirt. And I had to tell her, please, I hope you're wearing panties because I can't find those fucking olives anywhere. <laughs> it takes a minute to set in, but there you go. Oh, Lord. But, yeah, being single is, uh, it sucks. It, it sucks, you know. And I'll tell you, divorce is, uh, is no picnic either. Any, anybody married out here tonight? Let's hear from the married people. Anybody married? One. And I think it was a sympathy clap. All right, here we go. Here's some advice. Guys, if you're ever getting married, or more specifically, if you're ever getting divorced, or you're thinking about getting divorced, choose the easier way, just kill the bitch. Trust me, it's a lot easier. And what's the worst that happens? So you go to prison, you become someone's bitch for a little while. Either way, whether you go to prison, you know, or you end up getting the divorce, either way, you're getting fucked in the ass. So you may as well just take the prison rack and keep all your stuff when you get out. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, so one of the problems with my ex-wife is that she never wanted to have sex with, with your body like this. I mean, come on, how could you not? <laughs> you know? But uh, part of the problem was we would go three to four months sometimes without having sex. Which, okay, I'm not going to rape her, you know, I mean, I can understand she doesn't want sex. I'm not going to fucking force her. But the problem was she told me she didn't want me to masturbate. 
Well, there's a fucking issue with that. Like I said, I'm not going to rape her, but I'll be goddamn glad Vaseline Dry wasn't always fucking low. A man needs sex all the time. Guys, am I right? Do we wake up with fucking erections or what? Yeah! There we go. All right. Now, let me ask you something. <laughs> you got that morning wood? You know, you want that friendly little hello? You know, but now here's the problem. You wake up with the morning wood. She's telling me I'm not allowed to, to masturbate. What am I supposed to do? Well, guys, here's a little tip for you. If you do, like I did, and try to go the three to four months, get a hand truck, because you're going to need it to carry your nuts around by the time you're done. <laughs> so I turn to the wonderful world of pornography. Guys, let's hear it for porn. Yeah! yeah. Ladies, let's hear it for porn. That's about what I expected. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yeah, so porn, it's great, you know, but the problem is, as we can see with the ladies, porn just is not acceptable. It's just not acceptable anywhere in the society. Um, you know, it, it, why not? It's perfectly natural. There's nothing wrong with it, in most cases. That picture of me with a penguin on IcelandLove.com is completely fake, I swear to God. <laughs> But here's, uh, here's part of the problem is pornography is not acceptable in this society. Well, how do we make porno acceptable in this society? Well, the answer is simple. You introduce it to children. Well, <laughs> how do you introduce porn to children? It's really easy. You just got to get a friendly childhood character involved, like let's say the Muppets. <laughs> you know, it starts real easy. You got Miss Piggy standing over here in her best fucking porking suit. You got Kermit the Frog over here, bare ass naked in line, bring ping pong ball fries and only same three. He's got a ping pong ball dick sitting right over here. And so it begins. Oh piggy. Oh piggy. Oh piggy. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh piggy. Oh piggy. And out of nowhere in the background, you get the Swedish chef. For your dinner. <laughs> and he comes up behind Miss Piggy. Bork, 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 bork. Kill me, kill me. Shut, shut, shut. Oh, Piggy. Oh, Piggy. <laughs>